Hey everyone, it's Caden here again with another episode of Tiny Home Tuesday. Today we're going to be showcasing the model called the Trinka. Now the beauty of the Trinka is the versatility that you have with the living room space. On this exact model you can see that we did the French doors right here, then we also let out onto a 10 foot front porch. So you've got a bunch of space there. So if it's a beautiful day outside at the lake and you want to open up these doors, walk out onto your front porch, you can leave them open, gain a whole lot more living room space. That's one version that you can do. Another version that you can do is if you know you really don't care about having the porch space because maybe you already have a porch on your property. You can turn all of this into windows and we can give you a rounded bay coming off right here and that way you can have just windows overlooking your lake and then we have a side entry door where that way you can build a wraparound porch or maybe you've already got one there. That way you can utilize that and not have to lose window space. And then one of the most unique options that I've seen is where someone has kept the porch but then they just use the side entry door and they have all of this as windows still. Another option that you can work with. Guys, I really like that feature because a lot of people already have the lake lot. They already have the porch set up. They just need to be able to have the house out there. So this way you can kind of double. You can use your wraparound porch. You can have our porch. And guys, it works all together very well. Now if you look right here, we've got the entertainment center. It is built in. Another unique feature about this floor plan is the entertainment center is actually inset a little bit. So that way you can gain a little bit more porch space and not have to lose that worrying about your TV. Another thing we've got is you've got the cabinetry going through here. This is not in any of our any of our other models. You've got the cabinet doors, you've got shelves inside of there, so you gain a lot of storage in this one. Then if you look right over here, we've got more windows, you've got the high ceilings going throughout the home. Guys, we've got this high going all the way through the home. That way it makes it look a little bit bigger and it does not really feel as small as 399 square feet. Right here we have the exterior door, the second exterior door. You could use this one as your main one, you can use that one as your main one. You've got options. Now guys, if you cook like my wife, she does not believe that you should clean one dish until after the food's been eaten for the night. So look at all of this countertop space that you can use for dishes. You've got a big sink, so once you do finally get to that point, you're able to clean a bunch of dishes, you've got the deep sink, you've got everything that you need. We even have your grocery list right here. I don't know who made this grocery list, but they must have had a drinking problem, if you know what I mean. We've got four bottles of wine with an exclamation point and beer with an exclamation point. I didn't make the list, guys. You can't hold me accountable for that. But we've got all of your cabinets right here. These are real wood cabinets going throughout your home. And then if you look right back here, we've got your fridge. You even have storage above your fridge. Guys, we try to get you as much storage as possible inside of our homes, and this is just an element of that. We've just got that extra mile, that extra little bit of step. You've got another pantry right here on the side of your fridge, right across, leads you into your bathroom. We did the angled sink inside the bathroom. That way you can have a little bit more floor space. Maybe it feels a little bit bigger to you guys. We've got more pantry space right here. Guys, I didn't even know that they made doors this big, but apparently they do. We've got them. Look how big that is. You've got two shelves inside there. You've got a ton of room for storage. And then that leads you into your bedroom. So here you can see we got the barn doors again, guys. Barn doors are huge whenever you're going tiny. You want to get as much functionality as possible. Sometimes the bifold doors that fold out, they limit you on how big of a bed that you can get. Go with the barn doors. You don't have to worry about it. You got a built-in dresser right here for you. Well, that way you don't have to worry about having uh, dresser space inside. We've got all the overhead cabinets inside this home. That way you can have them right above your bed, lots of storage space. I don't know if you guys, uh, how tall you guys might be, but if you're a little bit on the taller side and you're worried about going, uh, about going tiny and having the loft area because you don't think that you're gonna be able to fit, I'm about 5'11 for reference. Uh, I've got my man heels on today, so I'm about 6'1. You can see I got some room to stuff some toilet paper in my shoes, so if you're a little over 6'1, don't worry about it. You've got your AC and heat system right here. That way you can have a, a lot of really comfortable air right here. That way if you've got hot flashes, if you know what I'm talking about, um, you don't have to worry about them. You've got some air. And if you'll follow me right back here, we'll go check out the loft space. So again, look right here at all the open windows. And then we'll head right up here into the loft. Now this is going to be the biggest loft that you can get inside of a park model. This loft stretches over your hallway, it stretches over your bathroom, and it also stretches over your bedroom. Now some people have asked me, they've said, Caden, I really don't need a loft that big and I really want high ceilings inside of my bedroom. No problem. 
We'll cut the loft off right about here. You'll have all of this space here where you can throw out a couple sleeping bags. And then you can regain the height of your ceiling in your bedroom. That way, if you are a little bit on that taller side, we can keep the loft for you, but it doesn't have to be over your ceiling so it can feel a little bit more open to you. Now, if you're following me now, we'll go check out the porch. All right, here's the porch, guys. So if you come right out here, you've got a 12 by 11 porch right here. This porch is huge. You've got a ton of space right now. You've got the white vinyl railing. We've got the composite decking. Guys, this porch is built to last. Composite decking, you almost never have to worry about replacing. The vinyl railing is almost maintenance free. Guys, we're trying to make it functional for you. If you're going tiny, we want it to last for you guys. Only do it once, don't make you do it twice. Thanks for checking out our video again, guys. Remember to like, comment, and share our video. We wanna hear some feedback from you. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day.